Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Moondrop Dawn Pro. Unfortunately I've not tried the previous models where one was a 4.4 uh, A-Pot, another one had a 3.5. I've not tried these, I've just tried this one. As you can see it's got dual CS43131 DAX. And yeah, as usual, full disclaimers, I'd like to thank Shenzhen Audio Store for sending me these to try, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And this is currently priced at $50, which is a good deal. And sometimes it's actually less than that, which makes it an even better deal. But obviously I'll talk about more like that further in the video. And yeah, let's just get into it. So, the usual kind of Moondra part work. Obviously there's 32-bit 384. DSD256, obviously it's got the dual CS431s. There's also the 43198, which obviously is the next one up, but which I don't think really makes much difference. So obviously a bunch of specs. So 3.5, 4.4, frequency range, noise floor, signal to noise ratio, line out, blah, 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 as you can see. Have a quick look. I think the output of the 4.4 at 32 ohms is about 150 milliwatts, which is not too bad for $50. Let's see what you get. So quite nice metal, obviously it's a metal case. Let's give it a bit of a wiggle. QC, obviously I've been using it and it's here. So negative, I'll talk about it later on. So you got this kind of open section. Obviously I think dust, dirt, grime might start to get in there, but we will see. So 3.5, 4.4. The larger one is volume up volume down and obviously type scene and this does light up hopefully in a bit i'll show you what it looks like when it's in use and that's it and also to change the gain you have to use the app to do it so not like on the uh, the truth the issue you could just press press both in like that it would change the gain you can't do that unfortunately so the rest of it is hidden underneath so obviously adapter there you it's usb c uh I'll get it. Type C to USB A. This is obviously the, the included cable. This is not proprietary. You can use other other cables if you want something like that goes from a USB C to USB A. You can use something else. Moon drop a card with something on it. There's a say there is the app, and you do really need to use the app. So that's Chinese. Let's flip it over for English. So the same information there. For it to work, iPhone you have to plug the earphones in and then and then you plug it into the device. So there's some information there. See the colours? Red, green, blue, yellow, purple, red. So you can see, give it a closer look. See the different sample rates, red, green and blue. Driver, there is a driver as well. You can go, if you search for Dawn Pro, and there's just a link for it. Uh, the driver does work for Windows 7 as well, for people who have lower devices. There's the the QR code for the app. I'll show you that in a bit, because I've already, already actually screenshotted it. And that's it. So, small spoiler, this is not a bad device. Obviously, in a bit, I'll show you everything. Same information there, CS43131. And yeah, let's be waffling. And yeah, see you in the next clip. So welcome to my review section of the Moondrop Dawn Pro. Again, just a quick look over what it looks like. So 3.5, 4.4, volume up and down. That one there is obviously the to go up, volume down, type C. Um, you can also use this with other cables that's not included. So if you want to use it with the type C, to you, uh, USB A, you know, full soul USB A works perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so build quality, shall we say, it seems okay. It seems relatively like solid. Um, nothing to shout about, but it should, I think, should last you really. The construction seems pretty good. Um, yeah, and now no, an important thing is the app. So, like now, I'm going to overlay some kind of screenshots of the app. It's the same app I used with the um, space travel. It's just you have to click the USB part. Obviously, obviously you can see like the, the gain, 
you know you keep going you've got the gain you've got like the the light you've also got the uh the filter settings and then you've got like the gain and all everything you'll see you can see the thumbnails on the screen so this, it does have enough but you have to use the app to get that i'd, I'd at least preferred the gain to be uh, maybe a switch or something so you don't have to use the app say if you use this with your computer you would have to use an app to do it and it does seem to save the settings so that's one thing as well uh, and yeah obviously i'm also going to show what it, it looks like in use obviously obviously it's red in real life it's a bit redder than it looks on the actual uh, photograph i took um and yeah so that's it so um sound uh, uh, sound get out of the way because yeah, this uses a dual cs4313 one DAC, the Cirrus logic ones they all seem very transparent to me. I think some people say like AKM or they have a warmer tuning and stuff like that. But I noticed with the CS, the Cirrus Logic DAX, they all seem to me quite transparent from, from what I tried. And that's obviously what you want. You want basically this to come in one end and come at the other, like untouched. That's the point. Filters, I didn't really find they really do much. Obviously, if you do interested in getting this, you can obviously play around with that to see what it's like. Um, yeah, so power output is different on a phone compared to computer. So in my phone, I tried uh, the Kiwi Ears Quintet. Now, eighty percent on the three point five jack on my phone was uh, fine, like listening level. Eighty percent sounds a lot. Then I tried the eighty percent on the computer, same level. And it's super loud, but on the phone it isn't, so just bear that in mind. It's the same thing when I tried it at 20% on low uh, on high gain, sorry. So 20% high gain, same earphones, it's really quiet um, through my phone. But then I did the same thing with my PC, and it, is, and it was actually quite loud. Not super loud, obviously not like 80, but loud enough. And that's that really, so power consumption as well it doesn't seem too power hungry also it doesn't seem to get hot obviously you've got all this here for venting to get heat out i don't think that really matters to be honest with this set but uh, it is what it is um drivers now if you've got windows 10 you don't need to use the drivers it's plug and play you can if you want to if you've got an older is so like i've got an older windows 7 laptop which does not die so I just, I just keep using it before it kicks the bucket and um, that does support the drivers so that's so that's pretty good um not much to say really it's it's an app deck and it works quite well really obviously 4.4 is a bit more powerful i think at 30 percent i tried a plane arm in it uh one that's not out yet you have to keep an eye uh, for that review 30% on high gain was more than enough for power. So power, power output seems fine. I think it's 150 milliwatts at 32 ohm on the 4.4. And yeah, so like all the same properties like technicality, stage and all that, it seems fine really. It's It seems pretty good really. And I think that's pretty much it. It does what it's supposed to. So conclusion is, do I recommend this? yes what i don't like obviously is all these vents obviously over time dust uh, grime and stuff like that will probably get in there um obviously the power usage is different between the phone and this is my phone for example your phone might be fine um and yeah you have to use the app to change things but apart from that it's i like it it seems really good value for money and as, as of when this video was made it actually is $45, which is an even better deal, really. Um, it makes the True Thea Shio look more expensive than it should be. That's got a, a DAC up in level, but I don't think it really matters, really. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it. So, yeah, I think it's um, for $45, $50, it's, it's a, it is a good product. Unfortunately, I didn't try the other Dawn models. But it is what it is, unfortunately. But yeah, good set. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If I've missed anything, uh, you want to ask a question, please do let me know in the comments because I'll, I'll probably miss something. Hopefully I haven't. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll uh, see you in the next video.